Hey, this is Brendan Morrow from Lazy8 Studios, uh, showing off some of the tech we're building for our new game called the Extra Solar Project. Um, and this is our procedural content generating system. This is a, a tool that we built for uh, creating content to be on the surface of the planet. See, we want this this planet to be as natural looking as possible. So we decided it wouldn't be acceptable to have, you know, uh, for a plant, say build one model of a plant and then have it repeated a hundred or a thousand times. We, we're building a procedural system so that every time you come across a plant on the surface of the planet, it may look like other plants uh, of the same species, but each plant is gonna be unique and we're using it for all kinds of things besides that, you know, plants, rocks, etc. cetera. Um, so this is how you go about creating a plant in this system. Um, just as an example, here's, this is the basic shape of the plant. And so I can see modify the curves here and then um, do a preview. And you can see all the, all the plants on the screen kind of uh, take on this new shape, even though they're all a little bit different. Um, if I want to do something like add more onto that plant, you know, I can add branches um, and then see what they look like, you know. So now I've got these little spikes coming off of it. And I've got all these variables that I can modify to change how the how the branches are, how they look, how they're applied. Like if I wanted to be, if I wanted to get longer as, as they get near the top of the plant, I could do that. Yeah. Uh, looks a little excessive. Uh, if I if I you know, if I want them to be um, more collected towards the top of the plant, you know, I can just move these move these graphs up, and they'll the plant will adjust to reflect those changes. Um, and then, you know, we have other tools on top of that for, like, say, I want these to grow in, you know, say, I want them to grow in groves of, you know, maybe colonies of, of these little trees, you know, then I can, you know put them into a group mode where they grow as a as a group and as you can see each one even though it's uh, they're clearly the same species each one is a little bit different you know it's it's growing in some different way um and so there's a lot of really cool and interesting things that we've been able to do with this system so far and uh, we're going to keep developing it and uh, hopefully by the time the game launches we're going to have a, a really interesting looking uh planet surface Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.